Fred really embodies the future of our bush capital, whether it's his work designing and building unique mobile chicken sheds here on his family farm in Madura Valley, or whether it's the way he integrates conservation into his placemaking work at Panisis, um, his sculpture work, which uses recycled materials, uh, and of course his broader advocacy for the Madura Valley region. Fred's innovative, he's influential, and he's forward thinking. And I'm really proud to be able to nominate him for this award. Um, but there are lots of other people like me who really want to thank Fred for the great work that he does in our community. I'm honoured to be the recipient of the Moira and John ACT Young Environmentalist of the Year. I wouldn't be here without the support of my family and friends, especially my parents, who give me the capabilities and confidence to be able to do what we do here. What we do is build on the rich history here on our farm, Matura House, the oldest working farm in the ACT, and the Matura Valley, by using innovative farming practices. We're building on our shed design, which puts fertility back into the ground and is part of our mixed farming approach. Our vision for the valley is to make it one of the best attractions in Australia, 10 minutes from the centre of town, truly making Canberra the bush capital. Look, I picture Annie Close speaking at public rallies like the one outside the Korean embassy earlier this year. I picture her leading her artivism group to create banners for use at public rallies and to create merchandise for fundraising for groups like the school climate strikers or sitting with other knitting nanas outside the Appia offices protesting against the influence of fossil fuel industry. Annie is a passionate campaign for action on climate change and it's a pleasure to support her nomination for ACT Environmentalist of the Year. Annie Close has, has guided and helped drive the ACT climate movement for the last four years. Annie of the ACT has helped make a Dani brand toxic for any company associated with it. I'm so glad she's she's being acknowledged. Thank you Conservation Council. Hello everyone, uh, I'm over the moon to receive this award. Um, I think it really belongs to all of the people in Canberra who are working on climate, um, especially those in 350 and Stopadani and the Knitting Nanas and the Artivism Group. Oh, so thank you. It's, um, whew. So those of us that are working on climate know that we, you know, we've got to do everything we can for our kids and our grandkids and every contribution you make is valuable. For the future, it would be lovely to see the Adani coal mine finished and the work we're doing at the moment on uh, talking to the insurers to get them to step aside is helpful. And then it would be great to see old King Coal fall off the throne and then after that, there's gas. So once again, thank you. Bye. Accepting this award on behalf of the National Parks Association of the ACT is a great pleasure for me. It is most gratifying to have our achievements recognized. NPA ACT has a long history of environmental advocacy. Our multi-year campaign to raise awareness of the threats posed by feral horses was successful because of the generous donations by members of both time and money. The campaign was initiated and conducted by a dedicated group of members, ably led by Di Thompson. Well done all. We look forward to continuing our environmental advocacy for many years into the future in supporting the protection of Namaji National Park and other ACT parks and reserves. Thank you. <laughs>